Honington is an English village and civil parish in the South Kesteven district of Lincolnshire. It lies just north of the junction between the A153 and A607 roads, about 5. 5 miles north of Grantham and 8 miles west of Sleaford. Honington Hill Fort to the east of Honington are earthwork remains of an Iron Age fort, measuring 130 meter by 116 meter with defensive banks and ditches. There a hoard of Roman coins was found in 1691, although an investigation in 1976 could find no evidence of Roman occupation. The 1885 Kelly's directory view of the earthworks on the heath near the village is that it is the site of a Roman camp with Fossey and Vallum. In the Doomsday account of 1086, Honington appears as Hondinton, Hundendun and Hundinton. Honington consisted of two manors in the old Wapentake of Threo. Before the conquest one lordship worth nine geld units was held by Godwin of Barrowby, and after by Ivo Tallboys. The smaller lordship, worth three geld units, was held by Ulf before the 1066 conquest, then in 1086 by Fulbert with Gilbert of Ghent as his tenant-in-chief. Honington, like every Lincolnshire village, was assessed at 12 curricates to the geld was known as a hundred in the 11th century, each hundred being a fiscal unit distinct from the larger political wapentake. The village belonged to the historical wapentake of Winniebriggs in Threo after the mergers of wapentakes that occurred in the 11th-13th centuries. Kelly's noted that Honington was a parish and railway station on the Grantham, Sleaford and Boston branch of the Great Northern Railway, at the junction with the Lincoln Line. Agricultural production was chiefly wheat, barley, oats, turnips and seeds, in a parish area of 1,454 acres with an 1881 population of 177. The lord of the manor and sole landowner was Edward Southwell Trafford of Roxham Hall, Norwich. Honington Hall, seat of James Hornsby J.P. was built in 1862-1863 as a stone building in Elizabethan style with an attached observatory tower. A mixed parish school was built in 1863 for 60 children. In December 2015 fibre to the cabinet broadband was installed in the village as part of a Lincolnshire-wide scheme to upgrade the infrastructure. St. Wilfred's Church from the southeast the ecclesiastical parish of Honington shares the civil parish boundaries, as part of the Barkston and Huff group of the Loveden Deanery of the Diocese of Lincoln. The originally 11th century Anglican parish church, dedicated to St. Wilfred, is grade 2 listed. The incumbent in 2013 was Rev. Alan Littlewood. Kelly's noted that the Church of St. Wilfred seated 120 people. It is in Norman, early English and later styles, and consists of a chancel with a north aisle or chapel, a clerestoried nave of two bays, a porch, and a square tower of early English date, with a perpendicular parapet and pinnacles, containing three bells. The north aisle is late perpendicular and the chancel arch encloses the remains of a stone screen. The original aisle or chapel was built by the Hussey family in reign of Henry VIII. At the west end of the chapel is a stone monument with figure to William Smith, died 1550, his wife, a daughter of Augustine Porter of Belton, and six children. In the pavement of the chancel is a grey slab, formerly commemorating a priest whose effigy partly remains, but now covered by a brass plate inscribed to John Hussey, died 1553, benefactor to Honington Parish and Caythorpe. In 1873 the nave was restored and reseated, and the interior of the tower restored. Petzner notes further monuments, including a bust of Thomas Hussey, died 1697, and an architectural tomb to Dame Sarah Hussey, died 1714, and also a 17th-century communion rail, a 1577 gilt beaker, and a 1732 pot and flagon by Benjamin Godfrey. Thanks for watching.